This is the city of Fez, Morocco in Northern Africa. It's a popular destination of Europeans, but this developing country is largely unknown to most Americans. Fez has sites that are beautiful and disturbing. There are 27 million working donkeys, mules, and horses in Africa. In poor cultures that need agriculture to survive, pack animals must assist these people. But who supports the animals that support the people? The Medina, or the Old City section of Fez, is home to over 350,000, and there are homes that date back to the 8th century. Here, it's as if time has stopped. Cars are forbidden. In fact, the Old City is the largest car-free city in the world. Its streets are maze-like and incredibly narrow, none wider than 16 feet, some just two feet wide. The only means of transportation is by foot, bike, or animal. A mule can transport up to 800 pounds if properly packed. These animals bear responsibility for everything brought in and out of the city. If packed with excessive weight, the animals quickly become injured. Without treatment for their injuries, these silent employees continue to work until they die. They're beasts of burden, carrying everything from a kitchen sink, from garbage to feed to sand to cement to wood, any, just about anything. You know, the Medina, the old city in Medina, is 350,000 people. Uh, no, no streets or no, no vehicle can go there. It all, all has to be done by beast of burden. So it, they're a must, no choice. Pack animals are essential here, but in a region that has one doctor for every 4,500 people, a veterinarian is a luxury few Moroccans will ever afford. Five hundred dirhams is equal to just fifty-seven American dollars. On the farm where seventy Abu Sima family members live, that's an enormous amount of money. Making a difference for these animals and people started with one person willing to take a stand. In 1927, Amy Bend Bishop, an American traveler, recognized the lack of available medical treatment for Moroccan animals and their importance for the survival of the local people. She made an initial donation to create the hospital. She then urged Sidney Coleman, a lifelong supporter of animals, to launch the American Fonduk. Fonduk is Arabic for shelter. The American Fonduk is a full-service animal hospital that provides free medical care for the animals of Morocco. It focuses on emergency and preventative care and education that will promote understanding between the American and Middle Eastern cultures. These very different cultures still work together to help the animals and people of Fez live happier, longer lives. Unlike some parts of the Middle East, at the Fonduk, the American flag is always a welcome sight to the people of Morocco, as the hospital continues to provide critical foreign aid that is entirely donor-funded. The American Fonduk cares for a record 22,000 mules, donkeys, sheep, horses, dogs, cats, birds, and camels every year. Dr. Dennis Frappier is the director of the Fonduk. The medical issues he's encountered are shocking. Colic, hernias, pressure sores, emaciation, tetanus, rope burns, deformed hooves in need of trimming, internal and external parasites, dehydration, and respiratory problems. Early on, Dr. Frappier realized that most people in Morocco don't willingly abuse or neglect their animals. Urgency, a lack of knowledge, and poverty all cause them to engage in dangerous practices. This is why he and his staff are committed to educating every resident about proper care, nutrition, and handling of these animals. That commitment begins each morning as residents and their animals line up and wait patiently to be seen. The American Fonduk has an on-site laboratory, a small surgical unit, a blacksmith on staff to provide proper fitting shoes, 
and a well the residents use gratefully because water in Fez is extremely expensive. Dr. Frappier and his staff of nine treat over 80 animals every day. And we have people coming as far as 80 kilometers from here. They come by truck, of course, even Rabat, Marrakesh, uh, Casablanca. They're walking 28, 30 miles, more maybe. They leave early in the morning, it takes four hours for them to come on there. Four, four hours to go back. It's a long ride. Residents are taught how to keep their animals healthy and pack them correctly. Thanks to Dr. Frappier and his staff, treatments are now more routine, and the American Fonduke sees extreme medical cases less frequently. Sometimes they just come in, tie their horse, wash them, and leave, which is great. So it means they care that they have an animal that's clean, and, and it'll probably be free of pa external parasite and lice. So it's good. It's great. When it comes to cost, it is truly a case of a little doing a lot to save a family from losing their only source of income. For the average cost of one vet visit in America, 10 animals can be treated at the American Fonduke. This foal was suffering from parasites and dehydration. After being treated with saline solution, antibiotics, and fresh water, he was fine. A life was saved for under $10. The American Fonduke runs on donations. Over 90% of every dollar donated goes directly to care for the animals of Morocco. Without the American Fonduke, within three months, 7,000 animals would die, and the next to starve and die would be thousands of families who would no longer have a way to make a living. Quite simply, making a donation to the American Fonduke will do more than save an animal in this country. It will save lives. With your help, the burden of these animals and these people will be a lot lighter.